Hello, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do I look huge? Do I look jacked? Yeah, I look yeah. big. Nice. I don't know if the jacked is really good. Like... <laughs> it's like you wished. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Wish, <laughs> wishful hearing. Yeah. <laughs> can, you just t- can you just tell me I look jacked in this chair? You look jacked in that chair. Thank you, you so do. much. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the podcast, guys. Or ladies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank welcome. you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Happy to be here. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. on being the first uh, female guests of uh, Thank Hello you. Girl. That's what <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't say. That. You shouldn't point that out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's fine. America told me um, <laughs> they weren't ready for this, but I, and I said, two. Yeah. Yeah. Two at a time. Two at a time, too. Yeah. That's the only way they can handle women. Exactly. Yeah. In groups. <laughs> in groups. And we yeah. are recording this in the bathroom just to make everyone comfortable. Yeah. Exactly. We're yeah. gabbing in the bathroom. Just a couple of girls <laughs> gabbing. And you. <laughs> yeah <laughs> just a guy watching two girls talk oh, in the bathroom it's my favorite video from the 90s <laughs> <laughs> um you're both very funny comedians thank you for joining uh we had a sick car ride over here where you talked um <laughs> you know just a lot of shit about uh everybody we know that's not true that's not <laughs> we talked about politics we yeah. talked we about did. the future mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we said nice things about people we know yeah um I, you, you know, yeah, I just, I just, I just support female comics and you were saying a lot of mean things about them and I just wanted to, you know, stand up for them. Okay. Do you want to go ahead? <laughs> yeah. You want to name some names, Pedro? <laughs> yeah. Who do I think is really talented? Put the rebuttal deser- on my, and, yeah. des- and deserves all their Instagram followers. Put them on blast. Yeah. <laughs> In a good way. Because that's bad, isn't it? If you put somebody on blast. Yeah. Yeah. It's like pejorative. Right. It means you're, you're blasting out their, their, the bad things about them. Mm. Um, how did you guys meet? I actually don't know this. I didn't open, open. mic. <laughs> how all great friendships yeah. and comedy begin. How did any of us meet? Probably yeah. we all met at open mic. Do you remember which open mic? Oh, how could we forget? We were the only two women, of right. course, Classic. naturally. Uh-huh. Um, it was Bunga's Din. No, it uh, was Otto's Shrunken, Shrunken Head. Head. Nice. When Naruda. A- afternoon one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. At three p.m. <laughs> we were classy. We were there at three p.m. Yeah. Yes. In a bar. Yeah. And uh, again, we were the only two women. And I think there was, we were, we were friendly, but then there was an emotional moment where a male comedian was mean to you and it made you tear up and then we became friends. Oh, shit. Yeah, that used to happen a lot. And yeah. now I just don't really talk to any male comedians yeah. who I don't already know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fortress. <laughs> 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 now I'm just a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, according to them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but do you remember what yeah. your what you were t- what jokes you were doing that day? Wow, Pedro, great question. Um, I don't. <laughs> I imagine I was probably doing. No, I don't. Do you have any jokes you still do from your first like two years in comedy? Yeah. Which one? Uh, my um, uh, you can pull out your eyelashes to make more wishes joke. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. not that one. No, no, no. no it's okay. another hair related joke. It's okay, yeah. uh, I pull out my gray hairs and floss, floss with them. To yeah, molest that's, them. that's really good. Yeah. That was one of my first jokes yeah. I wrote. I love that joke. Thank you, <laughs> Mary. What about you? No, I used to close with a gross pussy joke. And What's I, changed, Mary? No, not, not much. Not yeah. much. The subject matter remains. The subject yeah. matter yeah. remains. The delivery? Yeah. I won't say I have evolved at all, but I used to end with one. And then I feel like I tried to do it a few years ago, and it just didn't really work. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'll move on from this one. It was about how uh, uh, my pussy's wet and good, which I still talk <laughs> about. Oh, I love that I joke. still talk about it. Didn't, maybe I should bring it back. That was funny. Where it you is, talk about it, my pussy's so good, it's anal. Um, no. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> funny. Yeah, that's oh, funny. I forgot about I that joke. I fucking love that joke. <laughs> I forgot about that joke. I really My pussy's so good it does anal, I think. Is, oh, is that yeah. what you said? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I forgot about You know, so I've really funny. explored that subject subject matter from all angles at this point. So sometimes I am like, you know what? I could go back to that one. Mm, modern day philosophers. <laughs> is there a joke that you forgot about that you recently remembered and were like, oh, I could try that again? Um, A joke that I've been trying to re-figure out (laughs) to figure out how to do is about uh, the, it has too many themes. I don't know. It's the German wings. Remember the pilot who killed himself with the plane? He flew his plane into the the French Alps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember. Yeah, and he killed everybody on board. So, but then they found when they were doing the investigation that his search history was like, how strong are, like, what's the lowest a plane will fly on autopilot? Oh. Like how strong is a cockpit door? 
like he was obviously going to do this. Yeah, yeah, he was playing it. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. So the joke I've been trying to tell for like 15 years <laughs> is, yeah. like, well, maybe like nine, is like his search history dictated what he was going to do. Like, what does my search history tell me yes, that I'm yes, going to do? Yeah. And I just haven't been able to weave it all together in a way that's funny and uh, brief. <laughs> what is What is your recent search history? Um, well, the examples I use in the joke are like uh, successful comedians discovered in their 40s. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I know this joke. I yeah, love yeah. this joke. Yeah, well, it used to be 30s, but <laughs> that's well, how long I've been telling yes. it. <laughs> I've seen it evolve. Yeah. yeah. Um, how to get period blood out of a mattress. Yeah. And how long is Indian food good for? <laughs> are there, uh... Oh, is three-week-old Indian food safe to eat? Is yeah, yeah. The, the... Is it? I never Probably actually told yeah. it. I think I just made that. No, up. I yeah. can't answer that without Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but non probably is. <laughs> um, oh, if yeah, it's not moldy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, or the or paneer maybe cheese. Cheese stays good for three weeks. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Only on one the... way to find out. <laughs> it's my future. And then what's you, what's on your algorithm? Which is a slightly different question than what's your. Oh, like, you mean like search? my for you page? Yeah, and just like what when you open Instagram, what is the stuff that just happens? Okay, uh, well, I I don't really look at Instagram Reels so much, which I think is oh like, really yeah, I look at TikTok more than okay. So TikTok, TikTok, uh, I get a lot of right now. I'm getting a lot of political stuff, like yeah. very pro Kamala and. Um, which is fine. I like, or you know, like you know, people uh, at re-editing like the Trump, like the things he said yeah. during the debate, like the, the they're eating the cats, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, eating yeah. the dogs, they're eating <laughs> yeah. the cats, which is great. I love oh, that. like putting a beat behind yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's, and that's, that's kind of sick. And then like a choreographed dance. Yeah. Um, one I one I've been seeing is that's great. Is is Trump saying you know it's his voiceover saying like imagine you send your kid off for school you say yeah. bye bye Jimmy I love you and then he comes back with a horrific operation so it's like parents sending their like you know eight year old out the door yeah. like boy and then he comes back in full drag and it's very funny yeah to yeah me. Oh, so it's all stuff you enjoy that's yeah nice. yeah 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 no I don't get any I don't I don't really see anything gross well it just yeah there's nothing where that makes you feel bad about yourself i guess no because that happens a lot with me with my algorithm oh really like, what are you doing we were you we Pager? were just talking yeah. about this how men's algorithms take them down like dark <laughs> yeah, paths yeah, <laughs> yeah, what is yeah it? women's like, algorithms are just make make them like buy stuff <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, yeah mine no, is all shopping yeah. yeah german interiors oh people from summer house and dogs <laughs> okay that's it <laughs> yeah, what's, all like positive, it? what's yeah. a german interior oh i've just been really into like german interior design okay but like what is the aesthetic um a lot of like little lamps everywhere with very warm yeah. light a lot of big plants in sentence lamps <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you say little in german oh i don't Ooh, know i don't know like, it's all translated yeah yeah <laughs> and then like qr and everything's like cozy okay but also not over it's like it's like a it's little like, bit sparse okay it's not like cottage core no okay no 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 it's not cutesy it's okay. german it's german there's nothing cute about <laughs> yeah no there it's is brutal yeah. <laughs> anyway yeah, I the joke i was gonna make is just pictures of the auschwitz museum yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see if i were um, if you I don't were, like holocaust humor i love holocaust yeah. humor did you ever do a holocaust joke yeah yeah my uh i got fired from the cruise for the holocaust joke. oh that's right yeah. it's yeah. really more Took about my brick. parents than yeah, the, yeah. then that was actually the first joke i told was the holocaust brick joke. oh yeah 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 oh, yeah wow well, if if I were a man into German interiors, I would have gotten Auschwitz picks by now. Yeah, but definitely. since I'm a woman, they're like, we're going to keep it yeah. cute, I think. Just like German words. They're just going to try to get me to buy shit, and yeah. it's working. So wait, what's on yours, Pedro? Oh, it's a lot of insane uh, fitness dudes. Oh. Uh, there, one guy, um, he did uh, a... F <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. He did a 5K that was all burpees. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> he had like, to do it for five. Yeah, oh, so. oh my! Like and stopping he, each yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, and you, and you, and he went. Yeah, five <laughs> kilometers. <laughs> and he he, like, wait, you, so and much. the way you phrase it, he had to do. Did you say? No, he, I didn't say he had to. I, okay. I said he just did it. And he did was, it and was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then you know he was like, he was like, like, thank you so much for supporting me on this journey. Oh my of, like, god! The dumbest thing I've ever done. Did he change? Was he changed after? No, no, he looked the same. He's just like a scary ripped guy. Okay, yeah. but he didn't seem like he had any personal growth. No, I don't. I don't think there's any personal growth happening okay. inside <laughs> okay. of his head. Yeah, <laughs> only physical growth. Yeah, that's all he's interested in. Yeah, and also it's funny. He has a lot of like before pictures. He's like, I used to look like this, and he was like also ripped. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ew. He's, he's just like now like huger. How do you think you got 
Or have you been exploring fitness? I mean, why why are you getting these fitness guys? I think a friend of mine was like, "Yo, ch-, I mean, it, it, I I can't really be like I don't I don't know how this happened." A friend of mine was like, "Yo, check out this dude Wes Watson. He's insane, and he's just like a guy that was in prison and is now a fitness dude, and he just screams about like how." You know, you're supposed to like get your fucking racks up. He lives in Miami. He's like, okay. He's, he's always talking about like how he got rich, but then it's like, wait, but like, what did you get rich from? And it's like that, just like yelling about being rich. Got him rich. Is how he got rich. <laughs> wow. He's like, I started making content in my prison cell, <laughs> and fucking now look at me. And so anyway, I started following that Manifesting. guy. Manifesting. I know. Yeah. Get arrested. And, um, first step. And, uh, honestly, I loved it. And then now it's just more, you know, more stuff like wow, that. Wow, and it makes you feel bad. No, it is. I actually like think okay. it's funny. Yeah, yeah. That's good. But you know, when I'm like not feeling amazing about my body, and then it's just like yeah, the most aggressive like, chiseled <laughs> abs of all time. I guess I'm not. I'm. I'm like, well, you know, I could. I could be doing. Yeah. I could be doing more five k burpees. I mean, duh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Instagram, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, want to look at perfect bodies? Yeah. That- even if you have a perfect body, which obviously we all we do. all do, yeah, yeah, it makes you feel. <laughs> it is. Bad. That's cool. That's, that is, that, what a coincidence. That I know. Is nice this is all. a body positivity podcast. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but only if your body's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, and your face. Yeah. And then what else comes up? I mean, you know, comedians I'm jealous of. That's class. Oh that's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Honest. Or like yeah. a how they get that. Yeah, yeah. How they got that. And then it's a lot of like, um, <laughs> a lot for of- a little bit, it was like a lot of language. People that it was like, oh, white guy speaks Mandarin. Oh. It, isn't that surprising? How oh, yeah, well I yeah, speak yeah. Mandarin, and it's like kind of cool, but also very cloying. Mm. Yeah, mm. I hate the I hate the AI voice. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah, yeah. and then I, I'm not on TikTok at all, so I don't. Oh. I mean, TikTok doesn't know me at all, which yeah. is kind of nice. I'll, I'll go on, and it'll just it, the first recommendation will be like Mr. Beast talking about how he <laughs> got successful. It's like I don't want to watch this. He's like. I'm barely on TikTok and yeah. I feel like it doesn't know me, but I was getting a lot of videos on TikTok for a while of women who've just being bro- been broken up with sobbing. Oh. Have oh. you ever gotten? Oh, that's funny. That's fun. <laughs> it's just, but it's like, it'll that's be like, ha- like a woman, like literally like in the corner of her home, like sobbing, <laughs> like this is how I feel Whoa. after he cheated, but I have to pull it together for my kids. And oh I'm my like, God. What made you think I wanted to Whoa. see this? Also, why and are you like a lot this? of them. Was it, is it compelling? <laughs> this is like a meme. Uh, no, it, I guess it's compelling in that it's like really disturbing. Yeah. yeah. And wow. I, I think the first couple of times I was like, is this a joke? Yeah. And it's not a joke. Yeah. Wow. I don't think I get any of that on mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. There's a lot of um, human tragedy on these things. Yeah. I don't, I don't just mean like, you know, whatever, like wars happening and you see videos, but I just mean, yeah, like domestic tragedy. Yes. Like there's one this... I mean, I, I this this lady seems like a really good person, but it was like, um, she's it was like, she, it was her talking about because she has this like really large son who's like a teenager and he has autism and he gets violent sometimes, mm-hmm. and it was her like showing how she deals with him when he gets violent and he's like he like wants something and he keeps like like hitting her yeah and she and he, she's like redirecting and it's like. First, it's like, I feel horrible for this lady. Also, she seems like a really good person because yeah. she's being so patient. And then also, I'm like, why do you have a camera set up? Yeah. Well, yeah. She <laughs> seems she like get, a good person. How did she get the filming tri- that yeah. for like followers is no, like I know. a it bitch was, move. But yeah. I, I think it was in a way, she, it might be like kind of advice for other right. moms who have, you know, I don't know. Yeah. It, I, I think there's a way to interpret it that it's she's not just a... right. Uh, like a, an algorithm, you know, fame seeker, but it was like really disturbing. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it's like, how did you, That's it's like, did you just have the camera set up and then you were like, let me see if I can piss off my son. <laughs> 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 or, or it's just, uh, yeah, I just don't know what happened, but I, and I felt like really, that was compelling. Yeah. I watched the whole thing. Yeah. I was like, how's she, how's she going to redirect the, this guy's massive. I don't, I wonder yeah. how she, you know, so. That's wild. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. like those people who um, make a big deal out of like taking a homeless person shopping or, mm. you know, or giving yeah. them, it's like, I mean, that's, that's Mr. Beast's whole thing. Oh yeah. 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 Huh. People fall for it. Yeah. yeah. Your nephews love Mr. Beast. Um, yes, I yeah. think. They, I think. Well, they have his feastables. Oh yeah. yeah. They like what his merch. They, 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 they're they really uh, just Is that like merch. Lunchables. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yes. Okay. I Mi- forgot that. <laughs> Mr. Beast and Logan <laughs> Paul are collabing now on like oh. a Lunchables alternative. Isn't it's Logan just, Paul like a like bad candy. guy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And so is Mr. Beast. And I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I think a lot of these people are bad people. 
Yeah, they did go to like a specific Walmart when we were there to get some kind of candy yeah. that he'd made. Yeah. Mr. Beast candy, branded candy that was like only at this Walmart. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, and then he kept being like, "Try it, it's good." And I was like, "It looks like it's gonna kill me." I was like, so neon yeah. and gummy, and it did just you, looked. You didn't awful. try it. Uh, I don't think I did. Oh. oh, this actually, this is a good question. What's the youngest thing you're aware of? Like, you know, <laughs> like, your Gen Alpha like slang or culture or whatever um, that you could like explain confidently. Oh. Well, that puts a hitch in my giddy up there, I think. Oh, really? Why? <laughs> I was going to say skibbity toilet, but I, I can't you don't know explain how, it. You can't explain no, it? No, but, but my understanding <laughs> is that no one can. Okay. I can explain it pretty well. Okay, go off. <laughs> okay, it's a series of 30-second to minute-long videos. They're longer now. They're longer now. That's wow, one bitch. thing I know. That's right, what for, the kids told me, because so, I said that, and they were like, nope, <laughs> it's longer now. <laughs> yeah, okay. So wrong. Okay, it's a series of videos ranging between 30 seconds to uh, maybe five minutes. Is I that, don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't ask follow-up questions. But generally, I think they're all in vertical format, but maybe a lot of them are in vertical format. Some of them are in horizontal format. And the first video is a kind of nightmarish video game graphic style thing that uh, where like a guy's head comes out of a toilet right. and he's scatting and that's kind of it. And then, okay. and then the lore became more complicated as the videos kept being released. Gotcha. Uh, there are a lot of people watch him. I think the reason it, I'm like, it is really weird, but it reminds me of stuff that I used to watch that was very absurd and strange and disturbing right. on the early internet. Yeah. It's like kind of the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. It's less exciting when you, when, when you, you break really it down break it down into yeah. its component parts. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I guess I don't know what the youngest thing um, that's a pretty classic one. I right? Feel like, I feel yeah. like that's pretty. I yeah. think that's a good one. Thank you. You teach teenagers. You teach, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they t they use all their dumbass slang with me. Yeah. The worst one I found out about recently is they say ah instead of ass. So they'll be oh, like, yeah. "Oh, goofy ah" or like "freaky ah." Oh, that they is say annoying. ass. And it's like TikTok language yeah. bleeding into real oh, language, censoring yeah. like themselves. censoring yeah. everything. Yeah. But they use it constantly. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> like goofy ah. Like goofy ass? Yeah. Goofy, like you're a goofy ah. Yeah. Like say ass, 12-year-old. Yeah. I want to hear you say ass. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. A good, I think, yeah, I guess I guess mine might be Skid Me I know a lot about Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. I feel like he's kind of over though, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. people have been... Because um, he got too rich. But yeah, people have been like like uh, soft canceling him. <laughs> yeah, uh, just, just kind of being like, oh, this guy's only in it for... I mean, that's... That's, that's uh, obvious. That's but. obvious, yeah. that's. I almost feel like that wouldn't even... I, I, almost, I also think it's not, it's not a real cancellation. It's just more like what I keep seeing is people that used to work for his production company being like, yeah, it's kind of a mess over there. Oh, really? Is he yeah. mean? Is he toxic? Or I don't think he... so. I think he just is, shouldn't have, you know, he's just like a entrepreneur that then started making a shit ton of money, but then hired his friends to oh, I see. work for a production kind of company. A shit show. Scott, would you agree with that? Are you, are you, are you, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, let's take a look. Yeah. Let's take a look at the controversy. Let's, let's read about Mr. Beast getting, Soft cow. What to know about the allegations against Mr. Beast and his company? Fourteen minute read. I <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's. Here let's we go. We got time. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody oh take God. a paragraph. I think the general <laughs> the general ding against him is that it's like cynical philanthropy, right? Which that's kind of obvious. Well, from duh. The yeah. Um, but then the, there's more stuff about like, um, I guess poor work conditions. Mm. Oh. Um, what did Mr. Beast get diagnosed with? Whoa. Whoa. Uh, list of accusations leveled against the YouTuber. He's ugly. <laughs> That's the number one. Yeah. <laughs> he got He's diagnosed with, with fuggo uh, disorder. Yeah, being beat with the ugly stuff. Damn. <laughs> he, would, he would not be on this podcast. There are a lot of allegations about um, hiring like, sexual misconduct. Um, oh, okay. Ooh. Wow, yeah. Now we're talking. Got it. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Not yeah. Really, yeah. Ooh. Uh, Got it. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. You, I'll dig in later because I think Good. this is a, this is kind of one of the more important stories going on in America. <laughs> yeah, in America right obviously. 
I do like the name of this website that you pulled up, Scott, is Sports Skeeta, which kind of sounds like Skibbity Toilet. It does. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they could be in league together. Yeah. Thank I think that's a reliable source for Mr. Beast content. I think oh, it more is. More nonsensical. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Just like, I'll true. believe this. Yeah, if it's the Washington Post, it's like, you guys have no idea what you're talking about. You don't, you don't even speak this language. Yeah. Sports Skeeta. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate the Thank you. pulling it up. Scott, uh, what's what's the oldest thing you're aware of slash, uh, you know, uh, like? Like, so, you know, for example, like, um, I, in the morning, sit in a chair and just look out the window. Okay. And I feel like that's like an old man behavior kind of thing. The oldest behavior yeah, I... Yeah, the oldest behavior you have. I yeah. do. Um, I mean, I take a lot of baths. That's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I take a lot of baths. Do you, do you do some good thinking in the bath? I read in the bath. Oh. Oh. Nice. I splash around. Do you really splash around? <laughs> I just have fun. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> just get out my toys. Yeah. <laughs> my bath toys. Not sexual. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. I don't have any toys. Uh, sometimes the cat comes in and looks at me and I'm like, you're fat too. What about the older... <laughs> yeah, you're, I, I, I knew your cat. You know, he was, um, yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's a hefty boy. Yeah. But we're body positive here on Hello That's Dear. Nice. So yeah, he's, yeah. he's beautiful. Just the way he is. Um, what about the oldest piece of culture that you're like a fan of? Like old movie, old uh, music? Oldest piece of culture that I'm a fan of. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I like old music a lot. I like old movies. I mean, I just recently watched Sunset Boulevard for the first time. Oh, nice. And Is I, it as good as? It's become one of my top five. Oh, that's cool. I would say of all time. It's so good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I love old stuff. I love old movies, but I do think I have a real... Uh, gap in my film knowledge of like yeah. black and like pre color yeah. era. I think I, um, and yeah, but the the few that I've seen though, I, I I do think like because there's the limitation of they can't they don't have color in them. The framing is always really interesting. Right. The way they play with light is always cool. So yeah, and the dialogue in old movies is always like a lot more kind of flowery and yeah. literary than contemporary movies. So yeah. I do like that about it. Yeah, I also recently watched Casablanca, which I had seen, but I yeah. think I'd never like watched it fully. Yeah, it's good. What about you, Mary? What's the oldest piece of culture you're a fan of? Uh, I feel like you could <laughs> you could answer this for me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> I seem so uncultured. I mean, I like old movies. Yeah. I like I like old music I, old art yeah yeah obviously old, old art old art beowulf beowulf is sick i read beowulf in sixth grade yeah and not since did it connect no no yeah i read it in college yeah what, did it, it was ridiculous yeah that we... really you <laughs> no, liked it? i don't know oh, okay yeah. i just remember they were like study its brickwork the golden walls that's all i remember from Beowulf. study its brickwork yeah like what do you mean? What, what does that mean? I don't know. It was something about the city he was in. Oh. It was a line from the poem. I don't remember shit. I was way <laughs> too young. I went to this stupid school where they had us read it. Um, yeah, that is too young to read Beowulf. Yeah. Yeah. What is the oldest? I I mean, like like lifestyle wise, I really like to take supplements, but I feel like that's like a young <laughs> that's like a young woman's yeah, now, game now. Now, now, now that's but like, yeah, but I think I was old. into it before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone like putting my like I don't actually have one of those like Monday Tuesday Wednesday through but I've thought about getting them well next birthday to just yeah take my vitamins <laughs> um uh yeah who's the, who's the filmmaker who made uh, Cleo from nine to five what's who's that filmmaker again uh Agnes Varda yeah you like her movies I guess that's yeah like- I like a lot of like older uh Der, der, I, but that's like from the 70s yeah, so I so wouldn't that's say that that's old, like yeah. super right. old but yeah. I love a lot of like film from the 70s especially like foreign filmmakers I yeah. mean um, I like jazz nice yeah that's yeah. old me too yeah. yeah that is old yeah so yeah I like that I like um, um war I do <laughs> I do <laughs> what's yeah. your favorite war um it's a good question yeah what is your what's your favorite war I mean it's hard to beat world war Two. Just because I feel like <laughs> it is kind of the yeah. goat. The it, goat, it yeah. is. But then you think about of all the wars. I mean, like the Hundred Years' War. Like that's crazy. It went on for a hundred years. Yeah. When was that? I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I just remember the some hundred years. Some hundred time. year. Yeah. yeah. Mary probably knows. <laughs> I don't remember she went to history. that school reading Beowulf. Yeah, at, true. At yeah. Twelve. I don't even know who was in the Hundred Years' War. Probably England and France. Yes. Yeah, maybe. I think there might be have been a different period of time, but I think there was a period of time in like the 
1400s mm-hmm. where Britain and France were at war for like all a of long that time. time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Over what? I mean, they're like yeah good question they just didn't like each other yeah what are we fighting for guys yeah we all just get along you got two similarly sized countries just like let it go yeah Yeah. you got that channel between you i feel like catholicism had something to do with it. it's always catholicism yeah yeah that's a great question actually i literally have no idea i mean you know when you take a long enough view of it it's like what is any war about right kind of yeah yeah dude (laughs) that makes you think (laughs) so i mean at its Um, core but i'm like i don't even know like what territory they were fighting over oh, here we go yeah oh oh, oh my god yes. disputes over the duchy of aquitaine what yeah so who oh who has the duchy of aquitaine now <laughs> oh bitch <laughs> so, wait what's know. the duchy of aquitaine no idea we can't even click through um <laughs> oh that's so yeah it doesn't even have its own wikipedia or it probably does it's just oh my god. so wait was we'll it actually a hundred years it, yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. It was plus Whoa. 160. But I mean, years. I think it was like on and off. Right. You know? It's like yeah. a JLo, like JLo, like like Affleck. Gaza. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, had to say it. Yeah. The Cold War. Oh, the Cold War. Someone, uh, someone. Wait, is that your favorite war? The Cold War. Oh, I was just saying it was long. Oh, but yeah. I did see someone the other day. Like, uh, uh, someone told a joke where they're like, "I want to date someone who remembers the Cold War." I was like, "Oh yeah, me, bitch," and I'm <laughs> yeah. not that old. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody over? I think 30. we're. I also think we're still in the Cold War. I think. Yes. We, I think we had yeah. a little, a little respite, Agreed. and now we're, yeah. for, we're back in it. We're back in. It's cold again. Yeah. It's cold. We're using proxies to fight the Cold War. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. yeah. I do think I, I maybe maybe my favorite would be the Cold War because I do find it kind of the most interesting mm. culturally, and there wasn't yeah. a lot of killing. There wasn't a lot of actual war, which right. I like. Yeah. Because in the I'm, beginning with Stalin and all that, right? <laughs> well, yeah. I guess it started out with, <laughs> and I guess there was probably a lot of. Well, yeah, there's a, lot of, going on. there's a lot of killing in the sense that, like, in the Soviet Union, right. a ton of people died. But, like, yeah. I guess it, it, that That's was not... That's not really the war. Though. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's a great answer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a peaceful person. Yeah. So the less... Um, yeah, I just like people kind of murdered in gulags privately in their own country. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of my for, business. Yeah. For yeah. that information yeah. to be buried and hidden so that yeah. we can't really ever verify it. Yeah, yeah. Smart. I, yeah. Smart. What about you, then, Pedro? What's your favorite My favorite word? word? I don't know. I mean, Mary and I are watching The Americans right now, which oh, okay. is all about the Cold So I think War, that's so also why that's I that's yeah, right. so that's, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it is World War II is... <laughs> It's tough, right? Tough yeah, to it's beat. Tough to beat it. It's got a lot. It's got the Holocaust. It's got atomic, you know, bombs. It's got Asia. It's got a lot. It, there's, <laughs> yeah, I think like everything. The world. The world. Hawaii. Oh wow. <laughs> I would like to make an argument for World War One. Yeah, trench warfare. Yeah. trench Hot. warfare. Sure. I feel like PTSD mm. was born. We didn't. It, people didn't yeah. have it before yeah. that. No, they did. But they called it a uh, shell shock. Right. Shell shock. Yeah. Um, you know, the impetus for World War II. Yep. I think if we'd had more media coverage back then, we would maybe think of it on the same caliber. No yeah. Holocaust, which is a strike against it. <laughs> but there was... In uh, this, okay, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> Armenia, Armenian case. genocide, though. Oh, the Armenian genocide. Yeah. Oh, right, exactly. Yeah. So there was a Holocaust. Yeah. If, if, you know, if we... And some people do call it that. And yeah. Kim Kardashian does. And I... I oh, think that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, like Kim's that. very outspoken about the Armenian genocide. Yeah. That's good. My um, my my brother-in-law is Turkish. I wonder. Oh, yeah. I'll probably ask him about that. <laughs> Next time you see him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, are they married? Well, Not fiance. yet. Yeah. I was oh, gonna say. Uh, I'm jumping the gun a little yeah. bit here. Are you? I mean, what, what do you call? I mean, he's he's they're engaged. Soon to be. Soon to be brother-in-law. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah that's I, that's right. That's the, yeah, that, yeah. that's the calculus I ran through in my head. But anyway, the point is, I definitely want to ask him and yeah. his parents if About they it. <laughs> if they if they would classify. It. Oh, because they're Turkish. They're Turkish. Yeah. yeah. The, the Turk. The I guess the Turkish government officially doesn't recognize it as such. Right. I don't know if the average Turkish people. But right. I'm guessing you know. Probably not. He's a really nice guy. I want to make that. <laughs> he, clear. He's very nice. He's, he's really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you giving a speech at the wedding? Um, you know, we'll see. Okay, because we'll I feel that. like that could be a good PS. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, that'd be, that could be a good opener. <laughs> or opener. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I stand with the Armenian dictionary people. defines yeah. genocide. <laughs> well, I'll do a, I'll do a bunch of those like observational Armenian material. Oh, that's like, good. You notice how hairy they are, and everyone yeah, will yeah, laugh, yeah. and then I'll turn so it much cologne. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That just I don't even. Know no, if that's that's, true. that's yeah. No, you got okay. it. Yeah, <laughs> well, I think tracksuits and cologne is right. a pretty accurate stereotype. 
like rug stores um, yeah <laughs> yeah i would say that's general like any middle eastern yeah, like yeah, i yeah, feel yeah. like jews definitely would fit in that oh that's true yeah, yeah. right right even just mediterranean yeah I mean, right you know Greeks. italians yeah tracksuits and cologne maybe yeah. uh who's your favorite problematic artist oh. oh good question i mean probably michael jackson oh nice yeah that's a good one because it's yeah. like you know did you see the musical no <laughs> Would you? my brazilian pilates instructor saw it and just was like it was amazing yeah. i love michael jackson yeah. and talked about it for like 10 <laughs> minutes i was like is this okay i yeah. don't know if this is okay i mean i don't really still listen to his music i would see the musical if i got a free ticket yeah. i wouldn't buy a ticket yeah yeah um but i don't really listen to his music anymore so i don't know i guess maybe he's not my favorite problematic art like maybe david bowie I guess because he apparently slept with a fourteen-year-old, oh, yeah. but it was the seventies. Mm. I mean, and it you does remember kind of being feel like a... everyone was doing. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and didn't she like it? Yeah, of course she did. <laughs> I feel like you there was being one where she was like, like, "Bowie, how can yeah. you say?" No, that? I know, yeah. but didn't she come out later and say? Oh, did she say it was bad? No, there was someone who fucked one of those seventies musicians who was like, "Yeah, I was like fourteen, but I loved it, and oh. I'd do yeah. it again." <laughs> I think it was that one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well then, never mind. I take that back. <laughs> so um, he's not problematic. Not problematic. Um. Well, I guess my, I mean, I can't say Woody, I, I don't care enough about Woody Allen's movies to like make a statement. Oh, really? Him. Yeah. Not a single one was like meaningful to you at any point? I mean, I love Annie Hall, but yeah. it's still just like, eh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And when do you have the guy? He's just like so gross. Just like, oh. Yeah, just yeah. Like, Shut up. I was on the train. This is <laughs> going back to Michael Jackson. I was on the train next to someone as he was buying, purchasing a ticket to the Michael Jackson oh, yeah. and I just found it funny. <laughs> yeah. Just like in the moment, supporting the, yeah. <laughs> supporting the legacy. Yeah. I yeah. mean, but I don't know. I guess because his songs come on and you're like, ooh, and then you're no, like, Damn for it. sure, yeah. yeah, undefeated at weddings. Ugh, so yeah. Good. Um, well, mine's R. Kelly. Yeah, where yeah, I was gonna bring. Up I R. have Kelly. that. Yeah. I have that issue because yeah. in our neighborhood in Bed Stuy, people still play R. Kelly all the time, and I always start dancing, and yeah. then I realize it's R. Kelly. Yeah. yeah, but I still. I mean, yeah, the man is a devil with the voice of an angel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck. the song apparently he he like wrote a bunch of songs for other people too that oh were yeah like compl- yeah i think i think yeah wait, uh someone told me that he wrote a song either for or with celine dion wow and i was like what a pairing yeah right? I think what they, a collab yeah i feel like they duetted back in the day that's unbelievable yeah, yeah. i don't know the music is it's hard to deny. Yeah, it's really good. It's hard uh, to deny. He's got it. And I kind of love that in my neighborhood, people still play it and they don't give a fuck. Yeah. And I'm yeah. just like, okay. If my dad was here and I asked him this question, he would talk for like an hour and a half. He would just have like every, <laughs> He would have, he would have, he like, would answer with every like, single one <laughs> and explain why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Polanski is a tough sell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although I do got to say, Rosemary's Baby, great movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great absolutely. New York movie too. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like, it's, like, yeah. when, it's yeah. like when dudes talk about the comics that have like burr. Yeah, my dad like Polanski, (laughs) Jackson, (laughs) Kelly. (laughs) Now Diddy Combs. Yeah, wow. Newly, newly arraigned. Yeah. The joke I, I, we were talking about jokes we could never make work. Mine is always that uh, France just loves like americans who get accused of rape right so any it's just so then now it's like p diddy you know will like do like a show <laughs> yeah. at like the, uh, the french opera house or something because um because they love uh woody allen lucy right. k roman polanski and then yeah. yeah so it's just like and then crystalia you know oh yeah uh, anyway. and pepe le Pew. yeah yeah <laughs> but uh somehow people don't uh, find that that funny huh. <laughs> people are idiots pedro <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wait That's who's true. your who's your favorite canceled artist canceled i mean mary and i always talk about how good the, the tv show louis was not oh, to throw yeah. you under the bus but <laughs> wow, mary. well louis is i mean louis is another yeah it's honest tough. answer of mine although yeah, yeah. i think his legacy is just like a little bit tainted for me because he's continued right, on yeah, yeah. and it gotten worse whereas yeah. r kelly's just you know in jail in prison, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so i can remember the good times it's better to burn out than to fade away <laughs> yeah. baby yeah. and then besides that i mean hmm i think all your answers are really good Thank polanski you, maybe because Polanski's just rosemary's good. baby is yeah like, awesome. I like you, like, you like woody allen uh, movies movies i should yeah, clarify yeah, I, like, <laughs> I like woody allen's parenting yeah <laughs> Just adopt. <laughs> get one you're, you want to fuck in five years. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, but I think I... And also, because, I mean, my dad is... In, I mean, he, he, he'll he watch every new Woody Allen he movie. He saw the new out. Woody yeah, Allen yeah. movie like, the last time he was no in New York. There were no young people in the theater. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> he went to yeah. the Upper East Side yeah. to the one movie theater in America where they're <laughs> playing like, it. Yeah, he was yeah. like, yeah, and it was uh, fine. Yeah. yeah. Was, what was his new movie? 
no fucking idea. Only released in France. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> in France. Yeah, some bullshit. So I oh, mean, yeah. I think I think Woody Allen's like the the like the quality of his work is like a kind of yeah dog shit these days. I mean, the last movie I saw of his was like. I liked Blue Jasmine a lot. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Blue but Jasmine then there was one with like uh, Jesse Eisenberg about Coney Island or something. Oh, I, and it was I like missed really, that one. It was like really boring. That one seemed bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've seen a few of his, I've seen, right? I don't know. I've Midnight in Paris was pretty good. I that feel I like didn't I've, see. That was okay. Yeah. But I, I know, I know it, people really yeah. like that one. It was cute. It was cute. Yeah. But I feel like his like, you know, like Bullets Over Broadway. Yeah. Like Manhattan Murder Mystery. I haven't seen either of those. Oh, yes, so many. That's so the many, and those are two are great. Yeah, Zelig. Zelig's good. I fucking for sure. love bananas. I love. Yeah, I mean, I do love his movies, but yeah. I don't really watch them anymore. Yeah, but I don't think I felt a strong sense of like, oh, this guy understands me. I think when right. I when I watched his movies, I was like, okay, this is a guy from like my parents' generation that people right. really like love and feel is important and i get it yeah and so i think it I, but i was it wasn't like hitting me in the in the gut really right and i think a thing i realized about him that is almost more upsetting than raping your daughter um <laughs> <laughs> almost it, almost yeah is that his affect is completely put on oh like, is that true yeah that's not him authentically oh that's at all. hilarious he just he's he like just a, sounds like a normal guy he's just yeah. a normal guy wow. he just puts that's a character really? that he plays wow. that like <laughs> yeah 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 um, he I was like a jo- he was like a jock in high school. For real? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So that's that's, oof. that's really weird, right? <laughs> a, a fraud. A fraud. Damn. Can you believe on top it? Of, on top of everything <laughs> else. Here's another joke. I'll, I I've never I've never even tried it on stage. Oh, here it, we go. I like, like this. This is a work. Hello, dear. Yeah, workshop. Exactly. Yeah, it makes me yeah. laugh to think about it. that. Um, <laughs> Uh, that I watched the yeah you know, I watched the Woody Allen documentary recently and it it, uh, it made me fall in love with New York all over again. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, that is funny. funny. Yeah, you told me that one. Yeah, I've told you that one multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every time Woody Allen comes up, I'm like, remember that thing I said in conversation? Where he's like, yes, yes, yeah. New yeah, York, no, I love. Especially funny because a lot of the documentary takes place in Connecticut. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but there is a lot of like shots of like Central Park. Right. And, yeah. And there's a whole thing about like when him and Mia Farrow were divorced they would he would like cross central like mm-hmm. cross the whatever you call whatever you call the like thing that goes through Central Park the, 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 Dr- no I don't know there's like a name for it that's yeah, specific yeah. to it but anyway yeah and then and then there's like a thing of him bringing Suni to a Knicks game and you uh, know he um, brought her to a lot of Knicks games yeah, yeah. I did still I him on the street did i ever tell you that? Suni, I, that's yeah. the best celebrity that sighting best i've ever celebrity heard sighting. yeah i saw them that on the actually, upper, that's sick uh, yeah. uh, they were on the upper east side he had his like canvas bucket hat on and she was just kind of walking a few steps behind him and he was like tottering and she just kind of looked like his nurse just following right behind him and, and that's the, true love that's no love, baby. i mean they're you know <laughs> they're in it <laughs> they really they're in it yeah. the heart wants what the heart wants <laughs> I hope someday to be so lucky, you know, yeah. <laughs> to have your own Sun Yi. He'll have my own Sun Yi. <laughs> oh, I got to get wow. those adoption papers rolling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I hope that for you too. Thank you, Pedro. Uh, yeah. You deserve it. Thank you, Mary. I think you still got it. You could still be the nurse. <laughs> I could still you be could the find nurse. your own yeah. Woody. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um, what's your, f- this is a funny <laughs> transition. What's your favorite thing about being a woman? What, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of question, what is, kind that? Of question is that? I'm curious. I um, mean, I, I guess I don't know because I don't know what it's like to not be a woman. Yeah. Do you not like being a woman? I don't know. Cause I don't know yeah. what it's like to not be a woman. Mm. Um, my favorite thing about being a woman is like using my feminine wiles to get whatever I want. Yeah, I yes. do notice you doing that a lot. Yeah, very. I like to manipulate. Mm. I like to lie. I mm. like to cheat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and look good while doing and it. And look good. Slay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about you, Mary? <laughs> <laughs> um, being friends with other women. Aww. Yeah, that's a good that's answer. That's nice. That's a good <laughs> yeah. answer. That's a good answer. And, and the sisterhood. The sisterhood. The sisterhood. Yeah. Yeah, because I've had a I've had a more I would say more than a glimpse of the brotherhood and mm. all these years of doing comedy. I've been in so many spaces where I'm the only woman and yes. the guys either forget I'm there or don't give a shit and they just act like it's just them yeah. and I don't I don't want to be part of that. Yeah. No. <laughs> that is no. Ugh, I don't want to be it's, part of that. Especially when it turns into like a just like a misogyny firestorm 
You know yeah. what I mean? Like when the open mic, you can feel it shift. The yeah. energy. It's hard to explain, but it's just like, it's like one guy gives everybody else permission to be a gross yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> you're like, no, I don't care what kind of porn you want. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it does happen a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's my honest answer. And Probably talking about your feelings openly with other people. Or uh, no, does that not? Um, is that inaccurate? I think that's maybe from your perspective. What right? Do you mean? Like, because since you're a guy, you feel like you can't talk about your feelings openly. I right? do think that's true. I think guys yeah. have to mediate it through a different. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I get, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think that's still something we struggle with. Yes. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, I think being like forced to be feeling like accommodating, polite. Um, yeah, ple- yeah. You know, like. You've just suppressed so much. Yes. Like not taking up space. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, I feel like, I don't know, men have a lot more authority in that sense to like yeah. just be like, here I am, whatever. That's true. There's a lot more just in, innate confidence because the society has made it that way. Yeah. I will a- say people talk about man spreading a lot. Yeah. I see people women spreading all the time on sure. the subway. I do. Got to air it out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not even, but I, I, I guess it's not like spreading. You know. your, it's like I know. leaving all your like shit on the. Yeah. Yeah. Your bag. Yeah. Your yeah, bag. Yeah. I see that a lot too. I used to have a joke that never worked about how uh, women spreading is when someone takes up too much space in Pilates. Oh. But see, you didn't laugh, but it's just true. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Yeah, just like, it's oh. true. And it's something I deal yeah. with several days a week and I want to murder them. Yeah. I've never done Pilates. Have you? No. Mary has. Yeah, yeah. I she's always telling I me I should go today. to her exercise classes she's with so her. She's so strong. And I, I'm worried because I think I would like I would think I would bomb pretty bad. Yeah. I though. tell you you should come to the spin with me, which yeah. Jill has done, and Jill did yeah, a great yeah. job. Thank you, Mary. Um, do you go, do you, can you lift Pedro? You think? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> really? You don't think you could like with yeah. your legs? You don't think you could? Get, oh, with my legs, yeah. Yeah, you could do like a Superman with him. Probably. Yeah. We should try it. <laughs> That'd be fun. You're so strong. Yeah. I I I, I have a lot of lower body strength. Yeah. I was thinking kind of arms. No. Well, maybe you, th- you could probably could bear hug him up, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Let's try after we'll try. this. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> I can't wait. I am I'm pretty strong. Yeah. You're strong too. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Look at that. Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Jill's got guns. <laughs> Hell yeah. Would you ever. Is the camera getting this? Would you ever want to get ripped? <laughs> like, like super ripped? Uh, it seems like a lot of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and you can't eat a yeah. lot of like, yeah, particular yeah, 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 yeah. things. Like, I, I, I eat pretty healthy, but like, you can't eat, have like any carb, you know? So I know. Much. You can't have rice. Yeah. I love rice. I love rice. You can't even have rice? No. Damn. The most. <laughs> Sweaters. Pedro kind of always forgets that rice has carbs in it. Yeah. yeah. I just I just think it's like healthy and doesn't have, you know. I did that whole 30 diet where you yeah. only eat like whole whatevers for 30 days. And the thing I craved more than anything was fucking rice. Oh, yeah. wow. I when did like, you do it? Uh, Like a year ago. Okay. Yeah. I did it like 10 years ago. Yeah. That's how I found out I'm allergic to gluten. Wow. And I oh, promise, right. Well, that was good. And yeah. I promise I won't talk about that again on the podcast. But <laughs> that is how I found out because I ate bread after. And I was like, oh, that's why I always feel like shit. Yeah. What's been pissing you off recently? Oh. Uh, um, the sun. Really? <laughs> yeah. This time of year, the angle of the light ir- irritates me. Huh. Like when it hits my eyes. It's kind of always in your eyes. Yeah. Do you not feel that? No, I, I get it. Yeah. It's like the summer and fall light just, ah, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just beating but on I, me. You don't think it's beautiful too? I know when, when it's directly in your eyes, I get it's when really it's annoying. When it's in the eyes, it's annoying, but I do think, yeah, it's beautiful. But it's but like, there, there is a quality to like fall sunlight where it's like, what the fuck? It's yeah. It's incredible. It's like magic mm-hmm. hour. Yeah, right? that, that I like, but I have to say when it's beating in my eyes and it's like humid and hot and there's no escape, like it was a few days ago. Yeah. Mm. I can't, it's, it makes this me weekend wanna, was tough. Yeah. Rip out my hair. <laughs> yeah. And floss with it. Sorry yeah. to hear that. <laughs> what about you, Mary? Um, what's been pissing me yeah. off? Um, people yeah i'm like i feel like right now i'm like a reactive dog like over threshold i just need a break from the city oh you're leaving tomorrow yeah i feel like i need a break from the city everyone's been pissing me off i'm about to snap drivers cutting me off on my bike just uh, just men being rude to me yeah women being rude to me 
just everyone yeah. everyone non-binary is being rude to you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i don't want to exclude anyone <laughs> yeah. <A-dems. laughs> i just have certain times of year i think it's it's spring when it starts to get nice out and everyone else has like been inside all winter but i've been out right and everyone else comes back out and is just an asshole yeah. and like shoves you out of the way yeah and then this time of year when all the summer people who leave who everyone who has money and leaves for the summer comes back yeah and then they get real pushy again and i'm right. just like i've been here get out of my way yeah. yeah i'm being but i'm not even like that i'm like you know i'm i'm not ta- i'm a woman i'm not taking up space but other people just like get in my way and shove yeah. me out of the way yesterday i was biking over the williamsburg bridge and this guy passed me on a bike and as soon as he passed me he spit and it hit oh. the the ground and ricocheted onto Damn. me ew yeah it's disgusting yeah horrible shit like that i was like bird flu i know maybe i have it yeah (laughs) sorry (laughs) if i do sorry that'd be cool you can like hear people getting bird flu in real time yeah (laughs) (laughs) what's pissing you off pedro i don't Mm. know uh, oh you know what this is not a trend but just a specific instance similar to what mary was saying i was on the train back from penn station and this fucking, like, I don't know, he looked like 16 or something. He was just like, it was like a super crowded train. He was like standing in the doorway, not like anybody passed by him. And he was like rolling a blunt. Come on, on man. And just like, and just being all like Mm-mm. fucking suspicious. And like, like nobody cares that <laughs> you're <laughs> rolling a fucking blunt. Yeah, yeah. Get out of the way. Grow up. That, Grow up. That, that We're all really rolling blunts. Me. Yeah. But then I, I was also, I, <laughs> yeah. I was kind of like, part of me was like, I kind of want to give him a dirty look. But then I was like, I don't really want to. Yeah. Then, you, I, then I'm engaging. And then, right. You know. And you never know what he's going to do. No, for, for, yeah. truly. Yeah. You can't, you can't lock engage. eyes with yeah. no crazy people. No. Can't engage. You'll get stabbed. Yeah. I've been getting yelled at by a lot of women for um, having bear off leash in the park. Some older woman tried to lecture me and my, my sister about it. Like, Was it the know, right time? To have him off leash? We weren't even, we were just in a little park. We let him chase a squirrel. Yeah. And this woman was like, you know, the neighbors here don't like dogs barking. It's a park where guys hang out like all night blasting music. So right. we just ignored her. And then she went, do you understand English? And so we just <laughs> pretended we didn't. Yeah. And then we were in Prospect Park and it wasn't quite the right time. Yeah. But some, he, he ran up, he was being really quiet and good. And this woman was like, it's not off leash hours. And I, I just went, I know. Yeah. Mind your own business. Why are you Fuck enforcing? Off. They're not your rules. Why are right. you enforcing them on some it's someone just a else? Dog enjoying his life. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't engage. I ignore. That's smart. Yeah. You at times are, have been open to street <laughs> arguments. Yeah. I'm, I'm very. I've been very open to them. Yeah. Lately, I'm not engaging. Yeah. <laughs> some guy said "fat pussy" to me the other day, and I went. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good for you. Yeah. Guy um, cut cut around me while I was going to the gym, like literally like trying to just get block my bike and went, you fat ass. And I was like, I'm trying to solve it. Yeah. <laughs> you like it. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Damn, dude. Do you get yelled at? about your um anatomy ever not in the nope, way that yeah. i do no no yeah, yeah. no i get i get yelled at way more than he does wow a woman did tell me i'd look I truly she was like you'd look better if you smiled oh i actually did get that <laughs> when did you get that like years ago and, yeah oh. I was I was years say, do ago. i have to kill her <laughs> <laughs> coming for <Yeah>. your man <laughs> only i get to see a smile yeah. <laughs> uh so that i just remember being like oh wow that's that was, that's I guess that's what that's like. Yeah. But yeah. it was, you know, it was different because it didn't right. feel aggressive. It was just like you know, it was like a yeah. little bit sweet but also right. but also unwelcome, I suppose. Right. Yeah. You're like, don't tell me how to live my life. Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then this is this is not really related, but it did remind me that uh the day this is very sad, the day that the Sandy Hook shooting happened, I was walking around I was on I was in college, I was just like really disturbed and right. like walking around looking really sad. And this girl I knew was like What's wrong? <laughs> and I was like, did, I don't know. Did you see the, you know, did you see the news? And she was like, oh, yeah, but, you know, you just have to have, like, a good attitude. Cool. <laughs> oh, my God. And she was, like, a huge stoner. I just remember. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Whoa. Whoa. It was funny. Have a good attitude. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Toxic positivity. There it is. It, it is a thing. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's an interesting uh, phenomenon. <laughs> yeah. That's a crazy thing to say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you guys want to look at a painting? Sure. Yeah. Sorry, I was just thinking of yeah. when someone we know 
died and then someone i saw someone oh, the, else i yeah. know that night and i was like how are you and he was like i'm great someone i'm someone i i reached out to is going to work on sketches with me how are you and i was like yeah. oh i'm kind of sad and he went yeah listen we're in, in comedy you just know a lot of people some of them are gonna die <laughs> and then that and then a different friend of ours died and that same guy said the same thing to me yeah well, <laughs> you're gonna have to tell me who it is off air yeah, you're yeah. not gonna be surprised at all yeah <laughs> you're gonna be i know it's someone you don't yeah. like oh good okay this is george oh. I, f- I forget what was the name of the painting, Scott. Uh, Canna? Red Canna. That's what it is. Red Canna. And can can mm. you open the the um, the page where because it has a description on it somewhere? Uh, Did you choose this because we're you. women? <laughs> I do really like Georgia O'Keeffe. Yeah, yeah, but I like it. It's pretty. Yeah, I mostly love her early work. Yeah. I do like the, all the vaginal petal yeah. stuff, but her early work's really cool. Yeah, what is her early work like? It's like more like southwestern. Stuff, yeah, right? yeah, sketches, landscapes. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. But I, but I like this too. I did choose this because you're women, and I thought you would say funny things about it. Okay, <laughs> but, I, but I also it's was like, hack, I, Pedro. yeah, I it's thought a little it, hack. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was because of yeah. me. But I also you know, know you like George O'Keefe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but also, he wanted us to be like, it's a pussy. Yeah, it's yeah. a pussy. It's a. There's a lot of folds. Yeah. There are a lot of folds. Well, the thing I liked, I was looking at the description of the painting, and it doesn't say anywhere in it like, oh, this looks like a vagina. Oh, it's that's just, nice. Oh, yeah, but actually, it's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah pattern oh bing trees there are like subtly vaginal descriptions like as the shapes swell and taper across the plane they pulse mm. with color and energy mm. suggesting the artist's continuing fascination with themes of natural vitality wow translates to the microcosm of the blossom wow but they mm. don't they don't quite you know say like pussy these famously look like vaginas <laughs> But yeah. yeah, it is. It is beautiful. It is. Very it's a really cute. nice painting. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry it was a hacky choice, but no, I, I was just, I was just we were teasing, hard, giving you a hard time. Um. <laughs> no, I can take it. It's okay. I think it was a little hacky, but sometimes hack is good. You know, the, fir- the, fir- the first thought. You know, I wish. I do wish my vagina looked like that. Really? Oh, that's a lot of to clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they self clean. That's true. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. It's beautiful. There it, it actually is. is the really light, nice, yeah. the light is very nice. sort of enchanting. Yeah, very inviting. Yeah. You want to just stick your fingers in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, find the 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 G spot and just just go to town. Yeah. What's uh, your Who's your favorite painter, Jill? Oh, um, I don't know. I'm not very good with painters. Yeah. I can't think of somebody. What kind of do you like? Any kind of visual art. Yeah, yeah. No, I like, I would say I like, like, impressionist paintings. Okay, nice. Um, Like, that guy who does the dots. I like that guy. Yeah, Surratt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that guy's awesome. I mean, that's a Surratt the Dot. That's what they called him. What's mm. that? Surratt the Dot. Did they? <laughs> <laughs> that was a street name? Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy. Um, I just went to a really cool art museum in Japan, and it wasn't—he wasn't a painter, but he did a lot of different mediums that were really cool, like really uh, like dark animal hides and stuff. Yeah, it's very cool. Nice, cool. Um, I forget his name, but mm. I don't. I don't. I'm not very good with art. Yeah, mm. I'm not a connoisseur, but yeah. I do. Uh, I do love it, and we live in a good city to yeah. go museums. Yeah. I like Keith Haring a lot too. Oh, cool. He's fun. I like yeah. pop art, I guess. Yeah. Pop art. Pop art's yeah. fun. And then Mary, George O'Keefe is one of your favorites. And, one of my yeah. favorites, but I feel like I get more in, I, I feel like I'm more interested in artists than mm. art. Like I get really into like, um, if I find out like the story behind. <laughs> 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 kind of what Jill was saying Sorry. earlier. Uh, your joke, your joke, um, Googling like of uh, comedians who became famous oh, in yeah. their 40s. Yeah. Like if if I find out that a woman like had a whole life and 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 uh, was dedicated to her art throughout it and then became successful later, like Louise Bourgeois, like I don't, oh, yeah, yeah, she's I, cool. I think her work's really cool, but like I'm more into like her. She had like four kids and then she just made all this art about like the misery of being like <laughs> like like a housewife and mother and this how suffocated she felt because she you know she th- th- she was working in like I think. I don't even know, like the, you know, a long time ago when women didn't have a, right. a great position or like Georgia O'Keefe just seems like a badass. I do really like her work. Or we saw, um, we went to the Whitney, that exhibit of Ruth Asawa. Remember? Oh, the yes. Ja- Japanese. Oh, yeah, woman, yeah, yeah. That was really Who was cool. another, she didn't really become, she was like very well known in the art community and she was an arts educator her whole career. Um, 
but she didn't become like very successful until she was like older yeah like 70s 80s i think yeah and her work is really cool so yeah, i think wh- i, I it, was, it was a lot of like um it was a lot of really cool patterns i remember and then it was yeah. a lot of because uh, oh, wow. she's known yeah. for her sculpture that's right yeah, so yeah. it was an exhibit of her drawings. she drew every single day wow. of her of her yeah. life you know from the time she started drawing yeah how would you how would you describe this to someone who's just like listening Oh, I um. It's a lot, yeah, I see. Oh, it's just a lot of like very intricate, yeah. intricate pattern. Yeah, that sort of looks like sculpture. So you can yeah. see how her drawings became sculpture, yeah. and she did wire sculpture. These like oh. hanging wire sculptures. Yeah, those were awesome. I loved those. Yeah, and that's what she was best known for. Um, and then wow, when we were in Mexico awesome. City, we went to the Frida Kahlo house, oh, like her Frida actual house, and that was that was really nice. Yeah. That, you know, just like yeah. seeing where she grew up and yeah, and that's know. another one where like I like Frida Kahlo's art. It's yeah. definitely not like my her paintings aren't like my favorite. I think they're really cool, but I'm like I'm more like into her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just yeah, yeah, I just want someone who's gonna like reassure me that I I still like have a chance <laughs> to be <laughs> discovered in some way. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can still, I can still, I, think, I can know, still have it all. I think this might be the podcast that does it. This is it. Hello, yeah. dear. Yeah. Everybody, this is this, the whatever episode that people will talk about forever. Uh, can we, <laughs> oh, do you guys have anything else you want to say about Red Canna? No, no, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. It I love really it. Nice, I really yeah. don't think it looks like a vagina. I know. I mean, when I see it, look at her paintings, I really do see it flowers. Like many like, vaginas. Yeah. I'm like, I get it. <laughs> no, but sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> also, it, it, everyone's a fucking perv who that's true i mean yeah. i think it was her intention as well but yeah. you know um okay can we go to the poem <laughs> this oh. is by jewel uh the 90s <laughs> oh. recording artist jewel this is a notoriously yeah, uh, uh amazing poet yeah this is uh and by the way this i just i just appreciate that this is the website that i found it's just an angelfire.com oh. that's like from the 90s <laughs> oh so my it's God. like just wow. the worst like wow okay this is called father of a deaf girl um so one of us can read it, or we can listen to an AI voiceover lady read it. What would you guys prefer? Um, I can read it. You want to read it? Do you want to yeah. read it, Jill? No, what, you read I, it. Why don't you read the first thing, and I'll read the second Yeah, thing. yeah, okay, yeah. Mary, read the first paragraph. Jill reads the second yeah. paragraph. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. Every time her hands began to stutter, he became enraged. She threw these fits sometimes, and he never took the time to understand what they meant. Her words were wasted on him. Her hands useless, birds caged by their questions, and he would immobilize them, tying her wrists together so they'd jump like awkward fish, gasping at the shock of air. Should I do the next part as Jewel? Sure. sure. Okay. Um, let's see if I can ch- kind of channel. Unheard, they <laughs> dance like that for hours, her eyes full of... S- okay. Uh, s- <laughs> s- <laughs> Are you <laughs> losing <laughs> on the uh, on the other side of the closet door i kind of lost it he never <laughs> even knew what they were saying all right jill i want to fly from here <laughs> i want to fly from here 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 okay so that was father of a deaf girl by jewel wow um so my rationale for choosing this i was just i, I got Mary a book of Jewel's poetry a long time ago <laughs> kind of as a joke but also because I, I you do have you have a joke about Jewel she loves Jewel yeah, yeah. I, lo- I like her for music <laughs> yeah, yeah and I know she's like an in, kind of infamously bad poet and yeah. I was just like looking through and I, yeah. I was just expecting some bullshit you know about whatever like uh the girls smoke their cigarettes and, right, yeah, right, right, right whatever right. but then, but then, then, I saw this, then i saw this and it's just like kind of a brutal poem about yeah. a deaf girl being abused and i was like yeah it, i just had this sense of like what the, what the jules, fuck jules dark yeah, yeah it was well, dark she, yeah she was homeless yeah yeah uh and she has a lot of um i also don't songs about adolescent like trauma <laughs> yeah and Do i don't know if she Fat knows any, i was like i was wondering if she knew if this is someone she knew, like, does she know right. like a deaf person, and or did she just was she, was she just imagining. in her head like, yeah. wouldn't it be fucked up if there was a deaf girl who and, got uh, abused? Yeah, wouldn't, yeah. That, be, wouldn't that be fucking dark? And he's like, shut up! But yeah. he's just tying her hands up. Um, I actually really don't. I sense. I mean, this is like uh, this is upsetting. I don't think this is a horrible poem. Yeah, no, there's a lot of good imagery. I do. Yeah. I am. It's making me feel something. Yeah. I am a little like it says father that it's titled father of a death girl, yeah. but mm-hmm. it's about the girl. Yes. So that's kind of interesting to me. That's like, whose story are we telling? Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. Very true. Perspective is important. Yeah. 
He never even knew what they were saying. He never learned to ASL. (laughs) (laughs) Is that? I think that's, yeah, I think that's what happened. Yeah. She threw fits sometimes and he never took the time to understand. Wow. What a dick. Yeah. 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 I think this poem would be better if it didn't have the second paragraph. I want to fly yeah. from here. I think yeah. I think that that makes it cornier yes. than yeah. Tell me I'm a bird, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm thank you for not doing a deaf voice by the way when you when you read the second <laughs> paragraph, Jill. I, oh, I, I, I didn't I, even I consider that. Yeah, I yeah. should have. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. only we had that idea. <laughs> I know. Either of us. <laughs> no, it would have been offensive if you did. So I, I just thank you for not. Of yeah awkward fish gasping at the shock of air i mean that's well written yeah no it's not yeah a lot of the other poems i saw were like were kind of just corny and bad and this one is like it's like it's i think it i think it's the tone is wrong somewhere like it's too much of something well it's like she's old enough to know how sign language herself right oh but i guess no one ever taught her because she because yeah i mean and he doesn't understand, or he, or he, she knows it, and he doesn't understand it. Yeah, because she's her hands begin to stutter. He became enraged. He threw fits sometimes, and he never took the time to understand what they meant. Oh yeah, so maybe she does her know sign words. language, but she's mm-hmm. she's like stuttering. He doesn't yeah. get it. Yeah, which is weird. Like, how did they wind up here together, where she can speak perfect sign language and he doesn't? Yeah, where's the mother? I would like to know. Yeah. yeah. Where's the mother in this story? Yeah. I mean, maybe the, the mother's th- writing the poem. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> she, she's she's like the she's like the, the she's mother of the interve- autistic kid earlier yeah. who just like yeah. sets up a camera. John the she's, Baptist or whatever. Yeah. Not intervening. She's just watching. Yeah. The thing about Jewel is that she is good with words, but she is corny as hell. Yeah, and she loves to talk and sing, write about really dark things. Yeah, it does feel. Her, is, her, her, is her music good? Oh, yeah, I think so. I think her first album yeah. was good. All I know is, you can't see yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I know. Yeah. Mary knows a catalog, I think. Yeah. Um, I know that album. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I do know, actually, her second album with uh, Fat Boy. <laughs> Fat Boy? There's a song called Fat Boy. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, he goes to school. It's just like about a fat boy getting oh. bullied. Nice. Yeah, she she seems to be into that. Just like imagining yeah. some, S- imagining, some sad person. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Adolescent yeah. trauma. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, does yeah. seem very manufactured. You know, it doesn't seem like this. Yeah. These don't seem like real people. That right, right, right. Them. Yeah. So I can do. We, can we scroll down? Yeah. To, there's one about Las Vegas, Scott, on this page. Um, I wonder if you can, if you can just like control F, search it or something. Uh, it's very short and it made me laugh. I forgot Angel Fire even existed. I yeah, used to go best. on this site. Yeah. I think, is it just like a a, a hosting website? It must Las be Vegas. So. Go. Las yeah, Vegas. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh my God. Jill, can you read this one? Yes. Las Vegas. Women who suck their cigarettes <laughs> as though they were giving their hatred head. What do you think of this one? <laughs> <laughs> I, this is more like what I expected from the. This is like yeah. something I wrote in high school. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I kind of like it. I like it too. It's very trashy. It's trashy. Yeah, giving. I, I like anything about giving head. There's giving kind of poetry. That's, it's an intri- I have, haven't heard that turn of phrase before. Yeah, no, I like it. I think yeah. it's good. Hatred head. Um, did you wait? Did you write poetry, Jill? I did. Oh, nice. Wow. What did you write about? Um, just my trials and tribulations of a teenage girl. Yeah, mm. you know. Did you give your hatred head? I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you, you know, you did start about, smoking young. Huh? You started I know, smoking young. I did. I did. Have and you guys been to Vegas? I have, yeah. D- have you? W- no, uh, no. D- d- does this uh, poem accurately render the experience? You know, I was so drunk the whole time I was yeah. there. Uh, <laughs> you were one of these girls. I was one of those girls. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think so. I was definitely like, woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> Have yeah. you been to Vegas? Yeah, I went yeah. once. I enjoyed it. It, it was, was fun. I, I, I liked fake Paris. Yeah, that was fun. Never forget. We'll always have fake Paris. Yeah, and then and then uh, we went to the the, the like it was some some like Taco Bell cantina. Cool. Yeah. It was sick. You can just do that in New York. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Maybe I'll go visit every Taco Bell cantina in the country. That's a good idea. Yeah. It is yeah. A good idea. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you could probably get a lot of followers that way. You yeah. probably would. Yeah. Yeah. I could. Yeah. I could, right. Good way. Good 
strategic but you know jill you have an mba and that is yeah. a very business-like way yeah. to think well, about but jill maybe i just want life. to have the experience without mediating it through that's you know, true content too. creation yeah, yeah you could yeah. create your own content exactly. of character <laughs> 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 um okay uh do you guys have any questions for me oh where'd you get your suit <laughs> uh i got this at a thrift store okay yeah <laughs> yeah i got this tie on a website called tiebar.com tiebar.com yeah. cool yeah um um i don't know if i have any questions how many of jules poems did you read <laughs> um i flipped through like six or seven um and the and i was like all right this stuff girl one is like it's like really depressing Maybe right we should do something else but the, i just kept going back to that one yeah it calls you back yeah mm-hmm. it, does. <laughs> it does i get it yeah um, when you have two male guests on, do you do a lot of hyper masculine? Yeah, I questions? mean, l- l- the la- last week was two male guests. Okay, and, uh, I asked them about the first time they masturbated. Okay, yeah, oh, so, wow, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> it. That yeah, we it. talked. We did talk <laughs> about that for a long half, time. Yeah. Uh, I'm really asked, glad asked them, you didn't ask us that question. Yeah. I, I restrained from that. Would have yeah. would have hit a little different. Yeah, yeah, it would. It would. <laughs> I I agree. I agree. Um, <laughs> Uh, I asked them what their favorite thing about weed was. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I, I would say it was uh, more or less the uh, a, a perfect compliment to this one. Wonderful. What yeah. painting did you show them? I, I guess sh- I could just watch the episode. Sorry. Uh, what did I show them? Scott, do you remember what I showed them? Uh, the wine. Oh, yeah, yeah. A Oh, it was actually cool. It was an Edward Munch poem about wine. Oh. Mm. And Edward is a self-portrait with a glass of wine. And Edward Munch is just like looking really bummed out and depressed drinking wine by himself. Aww. I really yeah. like Edward Bunk. Yeah. Yeah, um, we, we saw a great uh, Edward Bunk expedition. We see art. We're, we're pretty cultured. <laughs> we yeah. are cultured. I can tell. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, did you ask your male guests what they like most about being men? <laughs> no, but I did ask Bobby Condon if he likes being a man. What did he say? Did he, say? he said yes. Yeah. He's yeah. Like, I enjoy he seems... the, he's like, I enjoy the privileges. Yeah. Yeah. He seems yeah. like he seems into it. Yeah. He can yell anytime yeah. he wants. Yeah. I apologize for that question. It, it, it came off worse <laughs> than I expected. But I also decided no, okay. to just, you know, hey, l- I, let I, it fly. I, yeah. Exactly. This is it. No it, holds bar. You never know when you're going to have an, another opportunity to talk to a woman. And I, <laughs> no, it, may, it might never happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you looking forward to? Wow. Oh, in good life? One. Yeah. Um, just keeping, continuing to crush, I guess. Okay, and cool. Just uh, continuing to have like, every day. millions of listeners to this podcast yeah. and making a lot of money from it. That's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Good answer. And, you know, uh, I hope, uh, yeah, continuing to be, to have great friends in my life. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. And then uh, we're, we're going to go home and pet our dog later. Yeah, nice. that's always yeah. nice. Yeah. Does Spartacus get really excited when you come home? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he wakes up and he's like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and then he gets excited. That's cute. Um, all right. Mary, Jill, thank you for doing the podcast. I appreciate it. Thank you, Pedro. This has been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for having us. Jill is doing my show next week. Yes. Uh, by the time you hear this, it will be, <laughs> it will It'll have be already over. happened, but Jill will have crushed. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, Definitely. And, okay. Uh, well, yeah. we'll see. Mary will be on in the future, and uh, it's the last Tuesday of every month. Woo! Yeah, yeah come to the show. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye. 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 Hello, 